See, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> J. Ron Curse officially signing back with the Cowboys on a two-year deal. That's how you start the week off. Now that is how you start the week off. Good people, it's your boy Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back like I never left. Y'all see that smile? I am feeling marvelous. Cowboys Nation, I ain't said this since the season. How we feeling? Because I feel stupendous, great, amazing. Oh my God. We got Curse back on the team. And y'all know how I feel about Jerron Curse. And I know it's been all kinds of rumors floating around that we getting the honey badger and all this extra stuff because people out there trying to use the Cowboys for leverage, and y'all know y'all wrong for that. Um, and I, I'm going to get into that. Not really using the Cowboys for leverage. Using the Cowboys for publicity. That's the correct term. Anyway, this ain't about him. It's about Jerron Curse. I'm happy that they came to terms. We was bugged out. He had took all his stuff off his Twitter off. I don't know about his IG, but he looked like it was moving in the other direction. You know what I'm saying? And I know how this was. I know Stephen Jones offered him the six dollar deal. He offered him a value meal on the DAP. Uh, um, Jerron Kerr said, "No, nah, don't disrespect me like that." Stephen Jones said, "I, right, I'll let you use the Cowboys Netflix password." Kerr said, "Chill out." And eventually, he offered him a correct deal. For what he deserves. Now, I don't know the numbers yet. I'm sure it'll come out. That's not as important to me as the fact that he signed back with the team. You got to think, I need playmakers at every level of this defense. We got our ultimate playmaker in Micah Parsons. The ultimate chess piece that you can move around the board. You know what I'm saying? Now, we got back Malik Hooker. That was one of our first signings. And I was really happy about that because Malik Hooker is played great last year. He ain't have as many splash plays as you would want, but he played solid. So to have a safety room of Jerron Curse and Malik Hooker, I'm ecstatic. I am ecstatic. Um, free agency hasn't been going exactly how we wanted. I was literally about to record this video on this whole pass rush DN saga that's going on with the Cowboys. But I'll give you that tomorrow. Right now, it's about Jerron Curse. Um, you know, like I said, we've been linked to the to the Honey Badger, and everyone was trying to look. It's not that I would have been mad if we got the Honey Badger or nothing like that. He's a great player, but Jerron Curse has proven he showed and proved it. Like my boy Jay Tuck said, you can't give somebody a prove it deal, and then when they prove it, you don't pay them. That's how Stephen Jones give it up, and fine. But what really needed to happen was Jerron Curse got his deal. Now, two years is not as long as I would want it to be because I want you to be able to move around and play with the money. But it is what it is. They don't want to make no long commitment. Stephen Jones and them doing their own thing. I'm just happy for the next two years we can guarantee that we got Curse on this team. Because you know what the biggest thing about Jerron Curse? I made a whole video about this, by the way. You can find it on my channel about why he was one of the biggest signings and pickups of last year. Leadership. He's a leader. In the words of Jerron Curse, run, hit, talk, ish. It is what it is. It was games where we were off our out of our element and players like Randy Gregory, no hate to Randy Gregory, he wasn't bringing a team together to talk to them. You know, Micah was young. But a free agent came into his locker room and took hold, gave our defense some swagger. He was wearing the green dot. Meaning he was calling the defense. And you know what the best thing about wearing the green dot is? Getting two years to wear it. You think he don't know this defense in and out? Oh, I'm loving this. We deserve this, Cowboys Nation. Now, now that some of the instrumental pieces are in place, go get me my pass rusher. I know Zadarius Smith out here using the Cowboys for, for publicity. I know. But look, Zadarius is out there. Jadavian is out there. Then you got the, the tier below that, you know. J, J, um, I think Arden Key's a free agent, and um, JPP, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
But like I said, I'll get into what I feel like they're going to do with the pass rush thing tomorrow. Um, the next signing I want to see, and I swear to God, Cowboys, I'll shut up. Go get me Bobby Wagner. If you're going to do it, I think you're going to do it the pass rush thing with this whole platoon pass rush where you're going to – one side's going to be a platoon, one side's going to be D-Law. Go get me Bobby Wagner. Why Bobby Wagner? Because Bobby Wagner will show up that middle. Playmakers at every level. Malik Hooker, Jerron Curse. Safety room. Lit. Done. With a rotation of Donovan Wilson and Izzy Mu Israel Mukwamu. Safety room is good. Linebacker room. Brought back um, LVE. Y'all forgetting about Jabril Cox. Y'all forgetting. And um, I think Gifford. But we need another linebacker. And oh my God. If I got on running downs when they when they would rush Micah. On passing downs. When they would drop Micah to rush. Whether it's from the middle or wherever they're going to rush it from. If I got the confidence to know if it is a run play. That I got Bobby Wagner back there. I'm going to be content. I'm going to be content. But look, like I said, man. Sorry, my kids are in the back wilder. Um, I had to jump in here and talk about Curse because we've been on pins and needles about it. We've been wondering. It looked like they weren't you know, in the same place as far as financially. And then I don't know what happened in the last day or so. Maybe it was the news of um, the possibility of us signing Tyron Matthew. That got one side to bend a little bit, you know, and maybe look, maybe that's by design, you know, Stephen Jones is very shrewd. Maybe they leaked that to the media, you know, to, to let um, Jerron know, hey, somebody else can have your slot because I know curse want to be with us and we want you here. If you somehow stumble across this video or somebody else that you rock with stumble across this video, let me be clear. We want you in the Cowboys uniform uniform. I'm happy that you're back. Um. You're important to this defense. You're important to this team. You're a leader on this team, you know, and you were undervalued in your whole career up until the last year and a half. Now, we really we fully know what we got in you. Other teams don't need, it don't matter what the other teams think. It matter what you're going to bring to the table. Because the way I look at it, you, you're an eraser. You can take away the team's best tight ends. You're a short tackler. You can play coverage. And you know the defense in and out. And you can rush a little bit if need be. I'm happy to have Curse back, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about it. I had to just jump in here. I know it ain't a real clear, concise thought. It literally, I saw the news. I said, I got to make a video. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited. Like I said, I feel stupendous. You know? But y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Let me know who y'all want next. Let's get this prayer circle going. We're going to get another pass rusher or we're going to get Bobby Wagner. And then I'm going to shut up and stop talking trash about Stephen Jones because he don't care anyway. <laughs> It's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. I'll holler.